I first want to thank everybody for joining us today. Uh, we're very excited to have Jeff Mays with us. Um, and I'll turn it over to him. If you guys have questions throughout, please type them in the chat box. We'll definitely get those answered. If you are watching on Facebook, uh, feel free to type them in the comments and we will get those answered for you as well. So I'll turn it over to you, Jeff. Awesome. Thanks so much. Radford University, how are we doing out there? I am so pumped to be here today. Super excited. You know, I was sitting there thinking, uh, uh, I, I graduated in 90. Uh, I, uh, I know that uh, I uh, took some real estate classes, took some speech classes. I, there's things that have helped me out. And today I want to go through, I want to go through talking about achieving more right now. You know, at the end of the day, we want more. We want to achieve our dreams. We want to build. Basically, I'm going to talk to you about building your life, building plans and dreams and have things happen a whole lot faster. And I'll give you some insights, some things that I've learned in some 30 years of being in uh, uh, real estate uh, out there and letting you know. Um, I uh, Just to introduce myself a little bit, uh, again, Jeff Mays, I am a uh, broker owner of a real estate company in Richmond, Virginia. And uh, I got into real estate. I uh, got my license when I was at Radford. I actually took real estate courses and um, got my license when I was like a, a sophomore or junior. So when I came out, I was already in that field and uh, was super excited about that. My family had a business and I uh, got super pumped up. I know I took a lot of real estate courses down at Radford. And uh, so for probably about 10 or 15 years, I was a real estate agent. I sold houses. I um, worked for a, 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 a really successful team, learned a lot about the business. And um, then I turned that into being a sales manager, running real estate offices, uh, uh, you know, firing up, motivating people that are out there uh, listing houses, selling houses, property management, commercial real estate, the whole gamut of real estate. And for really since then, that's what I've been doing. Uh, my job is to uh, fire up agents, get them excited, let them know what's happening out there. And I parlayed that, you know, being in the business so long, I parlayed that into had a great friend who is actually, uh, uh, his name is Tom Ferry. And he is one of the, um, leading really world's leading real estate coaching company uh and uh, i now coach 80 of the most successful agents around the country really in north america um and uh, many of them are it would be ridiculous to tell you the amount of success the amount of money that they're making uh and firing up around that business uh, so what what i'm really here to tell you about is i want you i truly believe no matter what you want in life, you can achieve it. If you really think about it, if you really have a plan and think about really what you want. You know, I, I, wrote, down, I wrote down, you know what? Here's why I love Radford University, okay? Because number one, we are the best. And we are the best because, hey, look, we hustle. We work hard, right? Don't we? We have to. We have to prove ourselves every day. We, we make connections. You know, uh, I'm going to go through some some stories and things that have happened in my life through the connections that we've made at Radford. Look, another thing, we love to have fun, right? You know, I know I've been out a while. I'm sure y'all are still having fun in college. Interesting times right now. But uh, we love to have fun. And then the last thing is, hey, we love, I've got my love shirt on today. We love, we love our school. We love our friends. We love our life. And that's why we can get more done right now. So I'm going to go through some ideas that will hopefully help you out. If you have any thoughts, questions, let me know. Uh, I'm here for you. I also, I wrote up, here's my phone number. If anybody wants to text me or reach out to me, um, my number is 804-651-6297. Uh, today is about you. Today is about your life, your plans, your dreams, things that you want. And uh, I'm here for you and help you out in any way possible. Um, so I, I wrote down really three things I want to talk about really today is number one is I want you to think and dream today. I want you to think and dream about your life and what you want to have happen. 
And then the next thing I want you, I want you to think about love and I want you to think about the connections that we can make out there right now and how that can help you out. And I want to let you know that, you know, uh, I think that, you know, when you're in college, it's all about those uh, connections that you make that will last a lifetime. So we're going to go through those things, really thinking and dreaming and things that we love out there. So I want you, again, I wrote down a couple notes here. I want you to think and dream about what you want in life. This is the time to design your life. Really think about that. You can have anything you want as long as you put, really pen to paper, write it down, think about it. And I'm going to ask some questions. And I want you to think today. So hopefully you've got, got some scratch notes, got some paper. You can write some things down. You type in some things there, maybe on your computer or iPad that can help you out. And again, any questions, let me know. Um, uh, do you know that the average person thinks more about what they're going to wear every day than really thinking about what they want in life? It's true. They spend more time thinking about what they're going to wear than even thinking about what they want. Okay. So I want you to write a couple of these things down. What do you really want? At the end of the day, what do you really want? And, and I wrote down, I mean, really, really, really want. You know, where do you see yourself in the next six months? Where do you see yourself in the next year, in the next three years, the five years? Where do you want to be? Uh, what type of job do you want to have? Where do you want to live? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to build? What do you want to be remembered for? You know, you know. I want you to really think about these things. You probably, we don't have time to go through each of these things right now, but I want you to think about these questions because when you, when you think about what you want, when you focus on it, when you go for it, that's when things can happen right now, okay? The next thing, hey, when do you want to have it happen? What kind of time frame do you want to have it happen? Write exactly the date that you want to have happen, okay? And then the next thing is, why do you want it? Why do you want it? What's your burning desire? What's important about whatever the goals that you're writing down are? Whatever it is. Again, we could be talking about, what do you want today? <laughs> what do you want this week? What do you want in a month or two? What do you want? When do you want it? And what is it going to take to get there? What are, you gonna, what, what, are, what are the steps that you're going to have to follow to get to what you want in life at the end of the day? See, I've read some, you know, I've, I've always felt that when you write things down, it's a better chance of it happening. So I want you to write down again, what do you want in life? What are you trying to achieve? When do you want it? Maybe even just like today, I, I'll tell you a story. Um, probably about a couple years ago, I was, a uh, I weighed a little bit more than I did. And I was like, I need to lose some weight. Okay. And all I said was, here's what I'm, here's, here's my goal. My goal is to lose 30 pounds. I want to lose 30 pounds in the next couple months, really, is what it came down to. And I said, so uh, I, I had an end date. I had an exact date when I wanted to lose it. And then I wrote down, what did I, what did I need to do to accomplish that goal? And I wrote down, it was super simple. I needed to work out every day. I needed to uh, watch what I ate. It, it was not a lot of things that I had to uh, accomplish, but I wrote it down. I had it in front of me. I had it like I posted it up like in my, my, my mirror in the bathroom. I could see it. I had it written down on my iPhone. I could see what was happening. I always had it in front of me. And I lost 30 pounds in pretty much 45 days because I had a focus. I've since then, to give you an idea, I, I, I'm, I'm big about being consistent. I have worked out every day a half an hour for 24 months in a row, and I haven't missed a date. Every day I'm doing the same thing. And that brings up another point is, if you wanna get anywhere in life, you've got to be consistent, okay? You know, consistency, it's, it's not all that fun. It's, it's, we, want, we want a couple things. We want things right now in life, right? Okay, but consistency is the key. Whatever you focus on, be consistent and follow through to me is the important thing. Hey, we're, I think of life as like we're in a marathon, not a sprint. And usually the one that wins is slow and steady. We're the, we're the turtle when it comes to getting things done. 
we're, we're consistent. Life can be boring. We just need to sometimes, you know, we want it right now, but many times that's not how uh, it happens. Um, I, I, uh, there was an interview with Jeff Bezos, who owns Amazon, and Warren Buffett. And Warren Buffett has this strategy. It's called compounding, uh, the compounding effect, which is basically if you save a dollar today and then save two dollars the next day, and then it starts to add up over time. And it takes a while to build up wealth, to build up success in whatever you're doing. And Bezos asked, he's like, Warren, why don't more people follow what you do? And he said, because nobody wants to get rich slowly. <laughs> That's, the, that's what we're talking about is, is slow, steady growth. Constant, never-ending improvement is what we're looking for. Whatever, whatever you want in life, think about it. So I want you to write down, really, what are three things you want to accomplish right now in the next, really, three months? What are three things maybe to some degree in your studies at Radford? What do you want to accomplish, whatever they are? And then the next thing I want you to write down is what are three things personally you want to accomplish? Personally, what, what, what do you want to accomplish? You know, and I want you to think about like maybe your, your finances, your health, uh, uh, connection with your family. Uh, like what, what is it that you want? Think about it. Think about what you want and then write it down. And again, why do you want it? Why do you really, really want it? What, do you, what are you going to have to do to achieve it? And at what point will you have that happen? Okay. Your dreams and plans will happen when you just put it down and then follow what you're, what you're looking at. Okay. The next thing that I wanted to go through is I, I read some great advice about getting a job. You know, at some point we all have got to get a job. We've got to figure out what we're going to do. We're going to have interviews and processes out there. And I thought this would hopefully help you out today. And it's talking about getting a job. First thing is decide exactly what kind of job you want. What do you want? Where do you see yourself? Maybe, maybe you're a freshman. Where do you see yourself in four years? Maybe, maybe you're, you're recently graduating or soon to be graduating. You know, exactly what type of job do you want? Okay, there's, there's definite, when you, when you make a decision, when you go for things, it will happen. Trust me. Choose, the next thing is choose the company or individual you want to work for. You know, who do you want to work for? You know, um, what type of job would you like to have and who would you like to work for? You know, my, uh, I've got a son that just recently, this uh, a week or so ago, graduated from high school and he's going off to college as well. And I'm, in, I'm instilling him to think about, you, you've got to realize right now, you can do whatever you want. You know, that would be my advice looking back is you can do whatever you want right now just think about, and I mean, it, again, it's time to dream. Who would, who would be the stretch company that you would work for? Who would you love? What would be the, the amazing job that you would like to have at the end of the day? What are you looking for and who is that company? The next thing I wrote down is, hey, study that employer, okay? Study everything you can. Look at their website. Look at their social media. Look at their policies. Look at, look at the personnel that works there. Um, become an expert on that company. This will help you out. And then the next thing is, and this is super critical. Uh, this is this is something that uh, I would think that anybody would hire you if you think about this. Figure out what you can offer. What can you offer to them? Look, hey, forget about it being a job. Okay. Um, most people are. The usual routine is, hey, do you have a job for me? For me. Okay. Again, let me read that again. Forget about it being a job. Forget the usual routine of, do you have a job for me? Concentrate on what you can give, what you can offer. At the end of the day, we are selling ourselves on any interview or any connection that we're making. Why you is what they're asking. They're looking at you going like, why you is really what it comes down to. And I think at the end of the day, if you can rattle off three reasons why they should hire you or why they should interview or why they should talk to you. What are the three reasons? Okay. One's not enough. Five is too many. Chunk it down to, and I, you know, I do, I speak all over the, the country and do a lot of events. And the idea is 
what are really three reasons why somebody should hire you? At the end of the day, think of threes. Threes, it justifies the idea. And then, oh, here's a great one. Here's a great interview question is ask the future employer, how can I make your job easier? How can I make your job easier for you? How can I make your job easier? Now think about that. If I, if I was interviewing somebody and, and someone asked me, hey, how can, I, how can I make your job easier? How can I make your life better by hiring me? I would hire that person in a second. Why? Because again, people at the end of the day are selfish. They care about themselves. So then when you show them you can make their job easier, they're like, I like that person. And at the end of the day, I really truly believe at the end of the day, we've got to, we've got to improve our interpersonal skills uh, relating to people is the key. You know, I always say that uh, at the end of the day, the world is run by C students with a personality. And hey, again, looking back to Bradford, we've got personality. We love to have fun. We like to make those connections. Uh, play up that. Make those connections. Okay. And uh, uh, once you develop a plan, here's the last step. Once you develop a plan, hey, maybe hire a, a writer to put it together. Put it, maybe hire someone to improve maybe your resume. Look on Fiverr. Check out, the, that's a great site to find out. People will do anything for basically five or 10 bucks or they're, they're putting their services out there. Improve, always improve what you're doing every day. Find out how you can improve your resume even. So, hey, the key of this is how can I make your job or life easier if you hire me? That's a good one. All right, the next one I want to really talk about is connections. Connections. Forge those connections at school. Really make up, like, uh, I, uh, I'll, I'll tell you some things about Radford and I was just thinking about it this morning is I woke up this morning and I worked out at a gym and the gym here in Richmond is owned by one of my best friends who also went to Radford and he owns a gold gym. This past week I, uh, was down at Virginia beach for a couple of days. Again, our son just graduated. We had a little vacation down there and I spent the majority of time with people that I had met, uh, fraternity brothers, friends from Radford, and I saw connections being made uh, around business, uh, talking about opportunities. I uh, was with someone that I've known forever, and uh, 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 Angie Radliff, and she is in the movie industry. She has uh, worked on some of the most amazing films that are out there that have come through Virginia and the the, the, the mid-Atlantic region, and uh, we're still connected, and we're still uh, connected in a business and a friendship way that I think at the end of the day, I look back at college, and I think that it's about the people you meet and those connections that will last you for a lifetime, uh, that can you can uh, make connections. Like many times, it is not always what you know. Uh, a lot of times, it's who you know. Okay, so don't forget about that. Um, uh, let's see, what else do I be? Oh, you can get anywhere in life with people. Hey, the key to my success, any success that I look back have had is it's because of people, okay? Um, your success is gonna happen because of the people. Uh, you cannot do it alone. You need connections, you need people. We cannot get anywhere in life without these connections and people that we know. Look, don't forget, people will make you successful. Uh, I wrote down, you will win in life because of the people you know at the end of the day. Um, and uh, so at the end of the day, we need to forge those connections that are out there. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is a little bit about what I've got on my shirt. It's about love. You know, we have got to think about uh, at the end of the day, what is it that you love to do? Sometimes, um, you know, uh, we've got to, so how do you like really, like or love what you're doing okay this is an interesting question okay and how i think that we need to recognize that uh, i mentioned this earlier there's interpersonal skills that we need to develop in our life and some things that uh, i've learned from a couple books that i've read i'm going to recommend them uh, here at the end and i'll let you know um, but if you really want it's a, it's a book called how to win friends it's called how to win friends and influence people hey at the end of the day 
who wouldn't want to have more friends and influence people? And they say there's about six or seven things you need to focus on to really improve interpersonal skills. Number one is become genuinely interested in other people. Find out, dig deep, be, be, be interested in other people. That is going to help you in life. The next thing is smile. Hey, many times on an interview or when we meet people, we're just kind of, uh, we're, not, we're not all excited. You know, and we can't always be like this, but I think we need to do is more so in life, we need to smile a whole lot more. The next thing they wrote down is always remember a person's name. You know, a person's name is the sweetest sound in any language. Okay, fine tune the, the people that you know and make a way to remember people's name. Write it down, put it in your phone, whatever it is. The next thing they, they recommend is become a good listener. Again, we're how to win friends and influence people. We need to become better listeners. Most people at the end of the day, they're just blah, 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 blah. They're just talking about themselves, you know, and most people just, that really turns people off to some degree. So become a good listener, encourage others to talk about themselves. The next thing is ask a lot of questions. Questions foster dialogue, questions about people. I, uh, many times on uh, events, I will, I'll reach out to people and I'll, I'll just, I'll pull somebody from the audience and I'm like, hey, let's talk for a minute. Let me ask you, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? Tell me about your life. What do you like to do for fun? Tell me about your business. I ask all these questions. At the end of the day, when people, when you ask questions of other people, they, this is how they react. I like that person. Why? Because you talked about them. You talked in their terms. They may know nothing about me. Ask more questions, okay? The next thing is um, make the other person feel super important and do it sincerely. And, uh, and then the last one, talk in terms of other people's interests, okay? We don't want to, I, I, there's, who, who's that, I call it um, uh, the people that suck the life out of us. They're the ones that they're always talking about themselves, okay? Nobody really likes or connects with those people as well as they should because they're just blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you about me. Let me tell you about me. If you want to get anywhere in life, make sure it's about someone else. Tell me about you. Be, again, genuinely interested in other people. And, you know, back to love, you need to, look, at the end of the day, the more you set goals, the more you focus on things that you want, you've got to love your goals. You know, goals are not, you don't need to look at goals as if they're work. Uh, look, it's just part of the journey. Look, some days, I wrote this down, some days you win, some days you lose. As long as you're improving what you do every day that's what's important love what you do and you will never work a day in your life and hey look here's another thing i wrote down don't let fear stop you fear is not real it's all in your head at the end of the day so at the end of the day why not go for it whatever it is you want go for it look there are no obstacles right now that can hold you back nothing can hold you back decide what you want when you want it why you want it and what it will take to get there. Chart a course for success and go for it. You've got to look at the end of the day. Here's another thing I want to stress is you've got to believe 100% in you, in you, in yourself, in your feelings, in your thoughts, in your actions, your approach. Uh, confidence is a way to get uh, at, at an interview. People are looking for that as well. They're looking for people that believe in themselves. And the last thing I want to talk about is a little bit, I, I mentioned it earlier, is be more consistent. Hey, life is boring. Again, it is reiterating. It's a marathon. And it, it, many times it goes to the slow and steady that are out there. Okay. Make sure that we are doing something every day. It doesn't take all this. It's not like these fantastic moments where uh, these amazing events, it's many times the slow and steady. And again, that is not always what we want, but that will get you far up. And look, hey, you know, we, we understand it's interesting times right now. Um, I've been telling a story, um, it, it was a kid's story. And I, I think it was, uh, it was uh, we're, I think it's going on a bear hunt. It's a, it's a kid's story that I remember way back when, but 
the, the point of the story is they're, they're walking in the woods and they come, up, they come upon a river and they say, oh no, look, a deep, cold river. You know, well, we can't go over it. We can't go under it. We're going to just have to what? Go through it. Okay, think about that. We've got to go through it. And then they came on a big, dark forest. And when they came up to that again, same thing. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. I guess we're going to just have to go through it. Look, we're, we, we've got to go through what we're going through right now with this pandemic. Okay, I truly believe this will make you stronger and better by going through this. Okay, students right now, look, I feel for you. If, if we can get through this, if you can get through this, it's going to be the rest of your life is going to be easy after that. Think about it. Okay, if we can go through this, we can go through anything at the end of the day. And look, don't forget the world, look, is the world is laid before you and you can truly achieve anything you set your mind to. Okay, I, um, I'm a big, uh, 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 I love affirmations and I love uh, positivity. I think another thing, you know, uh, I feel like I'm a life learner and uh, don't the average person, once they leave high school or college, they read basically one book, continue to grow no matter where you are, continue to strive to get better, to continue to find things that can make you better at the end of the day, become the best. I feel like at the end of the day, any success that again has happened to me is because of the people that I know and that I was always willing to work hard and striving for the best. And I'm, I'm, I love, you know, again, part of my job is to be a motivational speaker, to get people fired up and pumped up. I think we can all need that many times. I think many times we can get in our head and we can have doubt and self doubt. And, and I think it, many times people will have a great idea and then never act upon it because of, really what's going on between your two years. Your mindset is very important. And I'm a big believer in affirmations. And I want, you, I want you to listen to what I'm about ready to say. And hopefully it will have some impact on you. And look, I'm speaking to you directly right now because everyone, everyone now and then needs to be pumped up, especially right now. Look, hey, you woke up today with the strength in your heart and clarity in your mind. You are busting at the seams with energy. You are the architect. Listen to this. You are the architect of your life. You are building your foundation and you choose the contents. Your body is healthy. Your mind is strong. You crush negative thoughts and inactivity. You have endless talents. You have endless talents and you will utilize it today. Look, you must forgive those who have harmed you in any past and peacefully detach from them. Let me read that again. You must forgive those who have harmed you in the past and peacefully detach from them. Think about it. You have all the qualities you need right now to be extremely successful. Your creative energy flows through you and leads you to new ideas. Your thoughts are filled with positive results. Your life is plentiful and prosperous. You have so much to be thankful for. Your happiness is based on your accomplishments and your mindset. You have the ability to conquer your challenges. Your potential to succeed cannot be stopped right now. You are courageous and you stand alone. You will abandon your old negative habits and take up new, more positive ones. Your obstacles, look, they are moving out of your way. Your path is pointing you towards greatness. Look, hey, your life at the end of the day, it's just beginning. You are a powerhouse. Nothing can take you down. Your confidence is soaring. Your fears are not real. It's all just an illusion. You're at peace with all that has happened, all that is happening, and all that will happen. Everything going on right now, let me repeat this. Everything going on right now is happening for your ultimate good. It's just a journey, guys. Enjoy it. At the end of the day, look, if you're having difficulties right now, look, don't forget, this too shall pass. Hey, guys, I love you. I love all y'all. I'm so glad you're listening to what I have to say. Look, you are the best. It's your life. Think about it. 
think about it, really think about it. Think about what you want, love it all, make those deep connections now, especially in college. And look, if you need anything, if you have any questions, thought, need a recommendation, interested in real estate, want to pick my brain or ask me any questions, I'm here for you. I've always loved Radford University. And uh, if there's anything I can do, let me know. I'm here for you. Maybe we'll check and see if there's any thoughts, questions we could go through. Any ideas? Yeah. So I did have a couple of questions come through. Um, I know you, you briefly touched on it. Can you talk about what books you recommend? Yeah. Uh, I've got them all right here. Uh, some books that I'm reading right now is uh, Abundance. It's Abundance. It is The Future is Better Than You Think. Check out Abundance. Uh, the author is uh, Peter Diamatis. Uh, you should really check out anything that he writes. His last name is D-I-A-M-A-N-D-I-S. D-I-A-M-A-N-D-I-S. Great book right there. Uh, this is a great book. This is by Todd Herman. It's called The Alter Ego. And it talks about super successful, famous people, and they all have this alter ego. They go into this space that gets them fired up when, they, when they're performing, when they're uh, in business or whatever it is. Check it out, The Alter Ego. Uh, I've, just, I've just started this. It's called Limitless. Upgrade Your Brain, Learn Anything Faster and Unlock Your uh, uh, Exceptional Life by uh, Jim Quick right there. Great book as well. And then the last one I mentioned before, uh, I, I think that this is one of the best. Uh, I'm a big... Um, uh, motivational, positive thinker. I'm always firing things up and reading things like this. This is this was this was written back in the 50s, and this is I think uh, you can see anybody that uh, you know, like give you an example, like Tony Robbins or any or Gary V or anybody that out there. They this has it all right here. Uh, Dale Carnegie, check out How to Win Friends and Influence People. Okay, great question. Um, do you recommend any podcasts? Uh, I have been listening, uh, I have not, I've been listening to more audible books than podcasts. Um, uh, maybe I'll type in here. I've got some on my phone that I could recommend when we're done here. Okay, cool. Um, uh, where, do, what do you recommend to people when they don't know exactly where or how to start like these big changes in life? I do. Hey, I gotta be honest. I was sitting there like when I was back in college, I was like, I was not thinking about these things. Like seriously, I wanted to at least give you some ideas of start thinking about what you want. Okay. Like if you do it now, it'll make it easier when you get out of college or thinking like sometimes people don't ever think about what they want. You can truly build your life by design by writing down, thinking about what, 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 I think at the end of the day, what do you want to have accomplished in the next seven days? Or what do you want to really just accomplish today? Even it doesn't have to be these grandiose ideas. It's just little things every day to improve what you're doing. Um, I, I, I wrote down a couple things that these are some apps that I found uh, like are awesome. Check out Lose It. If you're interested in working out, maybe losing a little weight, check out Lose It. You have got to You've got to track and measure what you eat every day and how you work out. Um, you can basically say, here's my weight now, and this is where I want to be. And you can, you can basically put a plan together, and it will show you basically working out calorie count. Um, I would say it's a big reason that I, I really I've lost 30 pounds and maintained it over the past uh, really couple of years. Uh, another great checkout the five minute journal. I love the five minute journal. When you wake up five minute journal, it starts off with a motivational quote. You need to load up a, a, a photograph that you want to look at all day. And then you have to write down three things that uh, you want to accomplish today. And then at the end of the day, it asks you, it prompts you and you need to say, what are three things today that you're grateful for? What are three things, excuse me, that you accomplished today as well? Check out the five minute journal. And then the last one is Calm. Uh, Calm is a meditation app, uh, but it also has, uh, it has, uh, you know, if all kinds of different uh, meditations, but it also has kind of what I just went through, things that can fire you up, you know, and get you excited. 
Hey, don't ever forget this. People are attracted to energy and excitement. Okay. And I think that's the hardest thing, especially in college. And when we get out is like, we're a little, we, we, we want to be a little reserved. I think be yourself, figure out what you want, go for it, you know, and really Many times on interviews, you need to get fired up a little bit. You need to, like before this inter before we started this interview, I was like, today is, I have a motivation that I say every day. Today is all about them. I'm going to give them everything. Like I'm just pumping myself up. And guys, I got to be honest, this isn't how I always am, okay? In business, we're playing a part. Don't forget that. At the end of the day, we're playing a part. So, hey, be yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Think about what you want. These have been some great questions. Any other thoughts, ideas? Yeah, we did have another one. Um, you constantly hear fake it till you make it, but burnout happens a lot on the road to success. How do you stay motivated through failures until you make it? I think you, you've got to, again, it's a journey. I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't want to bore you all day long with the things that I failed in. Everybody fails. I mean, that's the thing, you know, we, maybe many of y'all saw there was a Jordan documentary the past couple months. And uh, I always think about Jordan always says that like there's over like 20,000 shots that he missed. You know, people there, you see the success, but there's so much failure behind it. Like some people are like, man, you're an overnight success. And I'm like, yeah, right. I've been in real estate 35 years. I've done 500, uh, uh, you know, sales meetings. Um, uh, I, I, and, and that brings another thing. I would encourage everybody learn how to speak, learn how to speak in public, learn how to talk. You will go far in life. The, I remember Seinfeld said that um, the two things that people are scared to death of is uh, dying. And then number one is speaking in public. And he said, people would rather be dead than actually talking at the, uh, the, uh, the funeral. So at the end of the day, I would encourage you, learn to speak, uh, 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 take classes at Radford. I think it will help you out in whatever area you're going down. Um, we have two kind of questions that kind of go together. One was, who is your mentor or, or role model? And then how do you kind of go about securing a mentor? Uh, I think um, – uh, to me, mentors are, I think there's people that you don't know and you really look up to. Um, I've been really following a guy named Jesse Itzler. Uh, I, uh, uh, he's about the same age as me. You may know Jesse from, uh, he owns the, um, he uh, uh, started a company called NetJets, sold that to Warren Buffett. He's married to Sarah Blakely that owns Spanx. Uh, he's got an interesting life. Um, uh, he was a rapper. He was, he owns the uh, Atlanta Hawks. Uh, but he's really very, I'm, I'm a very simple person. And the more we can keep things simple, uh, he, 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 he just really resonates with me. Uh, I was fortunate enough, uh, about, uh, last year I was down at a Hawks game and I saw that he was there and I weaved my way down. And again, I figured a way to get down there. I talked to somebody, I connected with somebody. And I, at the very end, I was right on the court with him and we connected and took a picture. That was, that was a, you know, a, a great moment. But, um, uh, you know, to me, um, uh, Tom Ferry that I work with, he's a, he's a um, uh, uh, you should check out. I mean, we're, we're not just training real estate agents. We train loan officers and people that are in this business. And he is a, highly regarded uh, uh, motivational speech uh, speaker out there. Um, so Tom Ferry, he's a, a peer and a friend. Uh, I look up to, I, I follow, you know, Tony Robbins. Uh, Gary Vee is putting a lot of good, great content uh, from, real, from the real estate side. I think it's more, uh, you know, uh, to me, my mentors are actually people that I know really well, like my, my stepfather, my my, uh, my, my dad, uh, some people that are in this industry. And I, I think, look, I'm doing this to help everybody out. You will find that the best will help. People want to help you. You just need to ask whoever your mentor is or whoever you look up to, 
just spend some time with them, connect with them, do a Zoom call with them, ask, write down questions, you know, and uh, I think it will help you out. All right, last question I have, unless somebody else pops in with a question, um, where do you get that shirt? The guy, look up, uh, the guy's name is David Flood, and he speaks to high school students. Um, and I just, I just love, especially, I've been wearing this for the past year or so, uh, I love the message. Uh, his, uh, he talks to high school kids really about bullying and how we need to love everybody. You know, at the end of the day, we got to love, like at the end of the day, I think it says it all. We got to love what we do. We got to love everybody. We've got to show more love out there. Check it. I, I got to tell you this, this was only like 10 bucks and this is a great soft, I'm going to order more, but check out David F L O O D. Uh, you can probably, check them out on Instagram or uh, Facebook. Awesome. I think that's all the questions we have today. Um, I do want to give a quick plug for next week. Um, we are going to have Gigi Beal um, with us to do a, a restorative yoga session. We're very excited to have you uh, to have Gigi with us. Um, awesome. We've done some yoga in the past, but this one's going to be a little bit longer and it'll be a good kind of reboot of the system, I guess. Um, wow, I, so, I may come back for that. that was yeah, good. absolutely. So um, I do want to thank everybody for joining us today. Give a special thanks to Jeff for, for giving our presentation today. Um, and we hope to see everybody again next week. Hey, thanks so much. Y'all need anything, let me know. Thank Will you. do. Thank you, Jeff.